Hello and welcome to Low Budget Gaming and welcome to the Humble Choice Bundle for November. Now, if you're new to Humble Choice, I'll just quickly go over what it is. We'll look at the games that are included and then compare the prices on Steam to see if it's a good deal or not. So, for anybody new here, Humble Choice is a selection of eight games in a bundle for $12. This is a subscription thing, monthly thing. So, once a month, they have this bundle. You pay $12, you get the games. Next month, if you don't like the games, you can pause the subscription so you don't get charged. And then you can move on to the next month and so on. So, let's have a look at the games here. By the way, all these games are Steam keys. So, first step, we have Hard Space Shipbreaker. Next, we have WWE 2K23. Unpacking, Friends vs. Friends. Proteus, Tian Ding, The Legend of Tian Ding. Uh, SCP Secret Files and Soldiers. So I'll go over the games individually on Steam and see if it's a good deal or not. So uh, the main game here is Hard Space Shipbreaker, one of the two main games, let's say. Now this is a relaxing simulation style game. I say relaxing because I find these quite enjoyable. Now I know a lot of people won't be interested in games like this, but if you do enjoy the, these style of games, this is one of the best in my opinion. So basically you are in space and your job is to chop up these uh, spaceships and salvage them, you know, keep the parts that you need, burn the stuff you don't need. And that is basically the whole gameplay loop. So it says equipped with cutting edge salvaging tech, carve and slice spaceships to recover valuable materials, upgrade your gear to take on more lucrative contracts and pay your billion credits debt to Lynx Corporation. So it's on sale right now, 50% off 800 rupees. $17.49. Now remember the whole bundle of eight games including this game is only 12 here on sale and this is like the best sale I think uh, $17.49 for just this game alone. So if you are a fan of these games definitely pick this up. Um, I play games like this and there's stuff like uh, SnowRunner which is off-roading but still a simulation style game. So yeah brilliant game I really enjoyed this one. Now next up is a more popular mainstream game that I don't actually play, but I know a lot of people might like this, and this is WWE 2K23. Now, when I was a kid, I was a fan of wrestling, but this was a long time ago. I'm talking late 80s, early 90s. I remember when The Undertaker was first introduced, Hulk Hogan, The Ultimate Warrior, Hitman Hart. Those were the wrestlers back in the day. And I kind of stopped before the era of Stone Cold or The Rock and stuff like that. So I'm completely unfamiliar with the latest stuff. But yeah, if you are a fan of this, this is available here. Also not a cheap game. So they have multiple versions. On Humble, they're giving you the base version. Over here, we have a sale on the deluxe version. So let's look at this version here and assume this is also at a 50 or a 60% sale. 50% sale would be at least $30 here. So as you can see, um, already a great deal because that bundle is $12 and you get this game in there. So yeah, if you're a fan of this, definitely a very good value deal. Because I think they remove the older titles whenever we get a newer one. So for example, if you want a, like a few years old version of the game, you won't find it because they tend to remove it when a new one comes out. Next is Unpacking. So this is a nice little indie game. I'm not sure if this was given away by Epic or not. Because I do feel like I had looked into this and I've heard great things about this one. It's a simple, relaxing game, a puzzle game, if you will, where you have to unpack stuff nicely and arrange things properly. So very nice game. You can see overwhelmingly positive reviews. Not an expensive game, obviously. $5.29 in India, the full price, $20. So at a 40% sale, it's still a $12 game. So yeah, already pr uh, what the price of the bundle. Next is Friends versus Friends. So this is a PvP shooter with elements of deck building. Uh, it looks funny, graphics look interesting as well. So again, a multiplayer game where you can play 1v1 against other people. So I guess you won't need a lot of people to play this game. Again, not an expensive game, 480 in India, $10 full price, 50% sale, so at least $5 you would spend for this one. Next is Proteus. Now I have played this one via the Game Pass. I don't have it uh, on Steam. But this was a fun game. If you're a fan of Doom and uh, the retro shooters, boomer shooter stuff, You'll enjoy this one. Uh, it also has a lot of uh, level editing uh, things you can do to come up with your own things. Uh, very fun game and also very easy to run because it's got the old style graphics. So 
you don't need a high-end system to run this. And yeah, if you like a bit of gory fun shooting stuff, this is interesting. You can see all the people who have made their own maps and things. So uh, 1,000 rupees in India, roughly $25. We have seen a, what is the sale? Steam DB lowest 569. So I'm guessing it's not been on sale and the regional price has gone up. Because 569 would have been like the default normal price and the price has gone up to 1,000. So yeah, this uh, $12 is roughly 1,000 rupees. So this alone is basically the price of the bundle, if, even if you're in India. And $25, I think is a little much for this game. Maybe a 15 or I guess things are going up. So, okay, I guess. Next is The Legend of Tian Ding. Now, I think I have this game on my wish list and it looks very nice. It reminds me of like an old comic book. It's got that same sort of visual look to it. So The Legend of Tian Ding is a size rolling action game about Liao Tian Ding, the legendary Taiwanese folk hero, explored the dazzling streets of colonial Japanese Taiwan in the early 20th century. It looks very good. You know, like stuff like Tintin or something, if you've seen that, it kind of gives me that same feel because of that comic book nature. And it looks like a fun little game. So yeah, 880 was the full price. So it's a $20 game. Seen a 50% sale, so at least a $10 game on its own. And yeah, I like this style of game. Next is SCP Secret Files. So this one here, I'll just read it here because that's a better explanation. Um, SCP Secret Files is a collection of paranormal cases from the SCP Foundation, an organization tasked with containing dangerous anomalies. You join as an assistant researcher for Dr. Raymond Ham and complete a strenuous induction program that will make you question everything you know. So adventure story style game, I don't know if this would be classified as a walking simulator, but if you like these sort of paranormal stuff, you should like this one. This is $4.59, so it's still on the old pricing, I guess. $15, only seen a 25% sale so far. So again, not a cheap game on its own. And then finally, we have Soldiers. Now, this one is surprisingly expensive. It also looks very good. The pixel art here is very nice. Fight for your freedom in a sprawling fantasy world caught between the living and the fallen. Own your skills in a retro epic featuring puzzle platforming, metroidvania exploration, and crunchy souls-like combat. So it's got mixed reviews here, 65%. So it's almost positive, I guess. But yeah, the main thing that looked interesting to me is the pixel art here. It's very nice and detailed. The style that I like here it looks very nice. So you can see here, 1500 in India is a very expensive price for an indie pixel art game. $20, so I think there's pretty much no regional pricing here, full price. So 50% off means $10 minimum for this one as well. And yeah, that is the final eighth game from this part. So overall, I think this is a good bundle. We have a lot of nice mix of games here. Now, personally, I already have Hard Space Shipbreaker, which would have been the main reason for me to get this bundle. I'm not into WWE 2K23, but if you prefer playing both these style of games, then this is excellent value. The indies are very good. Unpacking is nice. This looks okay, but I am unlikely to play, be playing this one. Proteus, I would play. Um, it's also quite expensive. Uh, this one, I would definitely play. SCP, I'm kind of interested. Sounds interesting. It's not like a horror game, but more a uh, thriller by the looks of it. And Soldiers, this does look very nice and it's quite expensive. So for me personally, I'm probably going to skip this one simply because I have Hard Space Shipbreaker, because I want one of the main games to be uh, the reason to buy the game. I mean, these indies are good and all, but I would like one of the main two games to be something I really want. I really want this one, but I already have it. Um, for anybody else, um, you'll have to look at, like at least you need to have one of these two games to be something you want, and then look at the indies. For me, Unpacking is good, um, Proteus is good, Tian Ding is good, Soldiers is good. So four indies are really good, and I am kind of thinking about it, but I really don't want WWE 2K23. I, do, I won't be playing it. And then Heart Space, I guess I already have it. So it, just for the indies, I don't know if I'm that interested in just the indies alone, because I could pick them up individually, or they could be free from Epic. So yeah, in terms of value, again, minimum, I think this was like $5 minimum unpacking. Friends versus Friends was also 5 Everything else is a lot more expensive. Stuff like this is like $10 minimum. This one here is $30. Even in India, it's quite expensive. So 
yeah price wise again very good and it's up to you to decide if the other games are worth it for you so as always i'll put the link in the description if you're new to humble choice you can pick up the bundle and remember to pause it when the next month starts and for everyone else um yeah let me know what you think of this one because i don't think it's a bad bundle but again not my kind of games at least the main ones anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one